What's up guys? All right, so today we are going to be going through some optimizations you can do on your computer Let's say you're new to PC or you're trying to get a couple more frames out of your rig We're gonna talk about things that you can do that won't horribly affect your game So we're gonna be talking about today. I recently bought a 38 Ti I got a 240 hertz monitor and I wasn't getting the frames. I thought I should get so I upgraded a little bit <laughs> All right, so I recently locked my frames to 300 FPS. So you're gonna see that at lowest it goes 280, and highest it goes 297. So as long as I'm over 240 FPS, it should be stable. So I lowered it because I didn't want my, my frames to run out of control because normally it'll go to like, after my changes, it goes from 350 to about 550. And before I changed my settings, it was like occasional dip at like, like 190 to like, 390 or 400 which that's it's over 240 but the occasional dips that were under i could see a very visible screen tear and we're going to talk about how to fix that today all right first things first let's talk just graphics on the game siege so i have it set uh to on on or boost there's no difference so just on is fine have this off and everything else here i don't suggest changing any of this if you want this as low as you can to maximize your frame output so you have low everything else on low besides LOD quality you're gonna want this set to ultra trust me set this to ultra it just makes the details stand apart a little bit better and shadow details you're gonna want at medium there's occasionally sometimes where you're gonna see a shadow and if this is not set to medium you will not see that shadow that's medium it'll help you a lot don't, don't lower this and then you have render scaling and TAA sharpness you can honestly lower this as well as TAA sharpness. It'll make your game look a little bit worse. So this will make your game look a lot worse because it will basically change the resolution and it just makes your, it makes the game look a little wacky, but uh, you will still be able to play completely fine. No problem. So these are the two ones I would really rely on if you just don't want to get, get too crazy changing your settings. Uh, TAA sharpness I have set to 100. Uh, most pros won't set it less than like 70 or 75 because it will to affect your gameplay when you have it lower like you can go all the way down to like zero or i wouldn't i would never lower past 25 i know one player that does that don't lower past that point but personally i want to be able to see my targets fully and completely while having maximum frames we're going to talk about what else you can do so we're going to go through an entire checklist first things first honestly make sure you have windows updated i know it, it's kind of annoying to have to update windows but when you do a windows update it will kind of just fix some like inconsistencies. It'll help speed things up a little bit. A very obvious one, your GPU drivers. You can get that off of the NVIDIA experience. I mean, here, let me pull that up really quick. Get off the GeForce experience site. I mean, you just go your drivers and you just put the top one, check for updates. I have the most updated one. So yeah, just very easy to do. Make sure you have that. All right, then search up game mode and you're going to go here turn your game mode on if you're in nvidia have it off if you have a amd card uh then xbox game bar you don't want to turn this off i mean you're not going to need this during siege anyways uh captures you don't want this off as well um yeah, that's that's it all in this tab all right so graphic settings a little bit more complex here so you're going to search up graphic settings in your windows bar you're going to turn this on and then you're going to search for your application of Siege. It should be like, I mean, not really should. So browse, like you'll just search through, find your file, uh, do your DirectX and your Vulkan in case you decide to swap the two and set it to high performance for both. All right, so then I'll go to power plan, go to change advanced power settings. You're going to want to change this from whatever it's at to high performance. There's another setting you can do with the BIOS, but I don't recommend that if you want to keep your rig. So uh, high performance is going to be good enough. All right, so then you're going to go to your, your Siege application. You're going to go to Properties. You're going to go to, I believe it's, uh, where, where, where is that? Compatibility. And you're going to turn off full screen optimizations. And I like to do run this program as administrator just for an extra boost. It doesn't really do too much, but I, I, I like to think it does. All right, so this is a really important step. You're going to go to your NVIDIA control panel. And I, I can... There's so many things on here. I think I'm just going to show you guys, talk a little bit about what, what I personally changed that helped me out a lot. So here's the first part. So one of the biggest things that I changed, so when I got a new graphics card, 
it had DS DSLR factors and it was set to, uh, I believe it was like 2X or something. You're gonna wanna turn this off. Like you need to go through, you're gonna turn off a lot of stuff and put on prefer maximum performance. So here's the middle, here's the end. You can, you can pause or stop when you uh, are, are doing this. So it'd be pretty easy to do. All right, one more time over. And it's just set to just honestly making the game look a little bit worse, not too much. Like honestly, I, I booted up Siege. I didn't notice a difference after doing all these changes and it just ran a lot better. So it just helps get more frames out of your rig. Also, you're gonna want to go to the NVIDIA control panel. You're gonna to want to go to adjust image settings with preview. Go down and use my reference on performance and hit apply. Make sure to hit apply and that'll say it, boom. All right, nothing really to do with graphics, but I know a lot of you guys are newer to PC. Um, so some of you that I've been making this video for. So also, I want you to bring up mouse properties and just honestly, click this button, turn this off, all right? If you have enhanced pointer precision, I'm gonna explain it really quick. So if I do swipes like this with it off, they're consistent. Every time I move my mouse a certain distance on my mouse pad, it'll go the same distance. But if I have this on, it depends on how fast I swipe my mouse across my desk. So it'll be more inconsistent. So if I move it faster, it'll go faster towards the end. You're gonna want that off for a more consistent experience throughout the entire time. That will help you build a lot of muscle memory. And with that on, it's gonna be very hard to build muscle memory to or not actually shoot. I turned that off probably a year after being on PC because I didn't know about it. And uh, yeah, it made my aim a lot better. So trust me, turn that off. All right, so now we're getting into the more min-maxing of the Uplay. You're gonna wanna turn this off. I have it on because my frames were fine with this on and it does make it a little inconvenient like during the game. Um, and I think you're gonna go to the notifications. Enable in game notifications, you're gonna wanna turn that off. If you are still having frame issues, you're gonna want every type of overlay off that you can have. If you can pull up an overlay in Siege, it's going to take frames from you. If you need every frame that you can get, I suggest turning all those overlays off. Here's uh, another one. If you are really just trying to get a, a couple more frames to make everything run more smooth, honestly, clean up your friends list helps out a lot because it, this actually does slow your game down quite a bit. Uh, my friends list is crazy, so this is not the example of what you should have. I'm going to go through this and probably delete like a thousand people. So go through only have the people that you actually plan on playing with like every now and then don't have friend requests like literally everybody under the sun like I do. It uh, makes it really rough and uh, it does slow down. You, you play quite considerably. So clear up your friends list. It'll help you out a bit. All right. And also go to Windows Startup and click the startup on the things that you want actually to turn on and turn off the ones that you don't want on. Like Vanguard, you're gonna want that off. It'll You won't be able to run Valorant while that's off, but it does have impact on how it's gonna run. Also, wallpaper engines. I know wallpaper engines look so, so nice, but if you don't wanna turn it off because it looks great, honestly, you can right click your wallpaper engine and you can pause. So it'll be still, it'll still be on, but it won't be running as, and it won't take nearly as many frames away from your game, so. All right, guys, that's it. That's, that's literally everything that I changed to just make my game run just a little bit smoother. So I, before I was running, like like I said, like two at the lowest was like 190 and the highest was like 350. And I got to my highest, my lowest being 350 and my highest being up to 550. I just boosted my, I mean, my system by like 50%, just changing these quick little settings. Shouldn't take too long and it won't affect your game in a very negative way. And like I said, like, the graphics in Siege, like the, those scale bars at the bottom. If you are still having issues, don't be afraid to notch it down just a little bit and just see if that fixes your issue. It, it should. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm Sendville. Uh, new uploads every day. So <laughs> make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and drop a like for more. Appreciate you guys.